Trotters for the third, the second Budweiser. Beacon course, elimination behind the gate and moving out. Here they come. And they're off. It's Hell's Highway for the lead. The inside, Raging Blue. From between horses, Divinator. Far outside, Malabar Man. Round the first turn. And it's Raging Blue with the lead. That's Hell's Highway a second with Divinator third. Malabar Man into fourth. With Yeehaw Junction fifth by two. After that, Doc Shaw bat. Another length and a half, Allison Hollow. Then three to Max Sorley and two. Metal Branch Lucky opening quarter, 28 and two. Down the back stretch they trot. And it's Hell's Highway and Per Erickson with the lead. Here comes LaChance with Divinator on the outside. Raging Blue third. Malabar Man gets in gear from fourth. Then it's another two and a half. Yeehaw Junction fifth. Doc Shaw bat sixth. With Allison Hollow, another two, Max Sorley. And Metal Branch Lucky. Half, 56 and three. And it's still a Divinator with the lead by two, two and a half. Malabar Man is wheeled into second. Tough trip, first over. Then it's Hell's Highway third. With Yeehaw Junction fourth. Raging Blue fifth. That's Doc Shaw bet. The outside sixth. They buy three quarters, and it's still Divinator and Lachance by a length and a half over Malabar Man. Three quarters and one, 26 and one. They're on the stretch, and it's Divinator with the lead a length and a half. Malabar Man trying to close in from Alvin Burrows. Up on the outside, here comes O'Donnell and Doc Shaw bet. Three horse race to the wire. Divinator, Malabar Man, and on the outside, Doc Shaw bet. It's Malabar Man. Getting up to win it from Alvin Burroughs to stay undefeated this year in 154 and 2. In the winner's circle. Now four for four and 97. It's Malvin Burroughs, Malabar Man, through at Brown Cope by Super Gill, trained by Connie Svensson. The Jimmy Tactor stable and driven to victory by Malvin Burroughs. We'll see Malabar Man back next week. The Budweiser Beacon Course and a Hamiltonian eligible Malabar Man. We order to finish top down. 619-243-87. Scratch 5. 619-243-87. Scratched 5. You can see the happy winner circle there. Malvin Burrows. Done it again tonight. World's leading amateur driver, Malvin Burrows. Hopefully we'll hear from Malvin in a moment. Hollywood Hayden. Play six, seven minutes here. Any effect, do you think? Uh, no, not really. I don't think uh, Malabar Man uh, really, he's uh, such a calm horse. I thought, you know, of course he's never nice because they don't know what to do over there, you know, but uh, he handled it very well. He said no more easy races after his last start. Uh, I think they proved that tonight. Post 10, overcame a tough trip. What was your impression? Well, I thought he raced awful good, you know. I mean, he, he had to go a tough uh, last half. And, uh, and uh, from the 10 post, it's never easy. And, you know, it's like you're giving the other horses, you know, two, three lengths, easy handicap. Uh, you know, but he, he fought never. I, what I could see from behind there, Matt never really was after his horse uh, that much. And, uh, you know, he's, he did this on his own. Last night we saw Brett Pelling take a horse dreamway, peaking into the Meadowlands pace. Do you have to be careful in the next four weeks not to peak a little bit too early with a horse like Malabar, man? 
Well, it's uh, it's very tough, you know, to really how you're picking them, you know, because in uh, it's you gotta be a lot of luck in it, you know. And but you know, hopefully he stay healthy. It's the, you know something you can't control, you know. I mean, health is a big factor in these kind of horses, and uh, of course that he's staying staying sound and all. So it's uh, those two factors is very important next couple of weeks here. Three weeks from today, Hamiltoni eliminations. Tell us about his training schedule. Does it change at all in the next three weeks? No, we're going to keep him the same like we've been uh, training him uh, coming into these races here. And hopefully he gets a little stronger, you know, you know, he's, uh, get some races. And uh, because this was just his fourth race of this year. And, uh, and uh, he should be probably, hopefully he's the tightest at the Hamiltonian. Jimmy Tactor, the trainer of the, the great Malabar man. Also, we saw Moneymaker the other night and many other top trotters winning the Beacon Course elimination.